Hey guys, these are air fried onion rings. They are so crunchy, so good you've got to make these. So let me show you how. So what you want to do is start with three white onions. I'm using white, but you can use yellow, Spanish, whatever you like. And what I'm going to do is cut these into about quarter inch slabs, something like this, so you can form them into rings. You want them not too thick and not too thin. Now we're going to go ahead and divide these up into rings. So just kind of push them out. And so you get rings something like that. They're going to be various sizes. Now on some of them, what I do, there's a little membrane of skin here. I just take it off because it doesn't stick so well to the batter. All right, guys, every time I get working with onions, I start crying. There's just too much onion drama here. Now let's work on our flour mixture, starting with three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of cornstarch. Now some people ask, I don't have cornstarch. Well, you can just use another quarter cup of flour, but the cornstarch does really help. Half a teaspoon of salt, depending on how salty you want it. A teaspoon of ground black pepper. A teaspoon of garlic powder, and just keep those vampires away. Last but not least, about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, just for that extra heat, but it depends on how hot you want it. And we'll just give this a whisk until everything is well combined. Now here's the trick to crispiness, my friends. Sparkling water, it's that carbonization that really, really helps. You can use beer too if you like. So we're gonna use about a cup of this. I should mention too, you want this really cold. I keep mine in the freezer for a while. And we will slowly pour this into the flour mixture, well whisking. Uh oh. Next up, I'm going to add some panko breadcrumbs to a mixing bowl. I always use panko, they're a little coarser, and I like them, they just do really nice on the rings. Grab up some of the onion rings, good handful. Onion rings into the batter. Now we just give these a little swirl around until they're completely covered. Oh, these are going to be so good, guys. I just love onion rings. Into the breadcrumbs. And we'll just flip this around a bit so it's completely covered. Then onto a wire rack. And I'm just going to repeat this process for the, the rest of the onion rings. Look at that. It's beginning to look like an onion ring. Now these are going into the basket of my air fryer. This little guy in the middle just for good luck. So I'm just going to give these guys a little spray with some Pim or liquid butter. Now we're going to slip these into an air fryer at 370 Fahrenheit, 190 Celsius for about 10 or 12 minutes. Now while these are air frying guys, a little trick I usually do is slip the rest of them into the freezer and they come out a little bit crispier. After 10 minutes, we are done, guys. And <laughs> just look at these air fried onion rings. Oh, wow. Just so, so incredible. Okay, let's give these a try. Mm -hmm. Into some ketchup. Just look at this, guys. Incredibly crispy and yummy. I don't know if you heard that crunch or not, but these are good. Mm. Just love them. They're crispy. They taste so good. Mm. I'm gonna make these a great snack. Yum. Mm. 